up kings and queens it's your girl essentially k if you are new to my channel welcome if you're returning what's good all right guys so i'm just about to do my like skincare routine and i figured why not film you know and kind of talk about the importance of daily affirmations um and why it's so necessary to do affirmations daily um, but before we get into our little chat, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, tap the notification bell so that you don't miss any weekly uploads. Also, give this video a big thumbs up at the very end if you like it. Um, if you know that you're going to like it, you can go ahead and smash that like button now. Um, but yeah, so before I actually get into what I'm about to do for my skin, because look, I've been breaking out like crazy since the very beginning of having to wear these masks and I feel like I'm constantly trying to correct my skin. So I'm going to use this. Um, I've showed this before. It is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. I'm going to use it to wash my face. I like this one because it's kind of like gritty. Um, and when I'm actually like scrubbing, it feels like it's really exfoliating. So it's nice. Um, I'm also going to use this, which I've shown before, which I'm almost out of. But it's the Mario Badescu um, Skin Care Witch Hazel and Rose Water Toner. After that, I am going to just spray some rose water on my face. I don't think I've ever shown this, um, but I got this at Whole Foods. It was like seven bucks. Yeah, seven bucks for this little bitty bottle. Um, but it is rose water. And I know I've shown this a bunch of times. It is the De La Cruz Vitamin E Cream. So I will finish off with that as my moisturizer. Um, but I just realized that I didn't take off my earrings and or put my hair back. So let's do this for a second. Just because I don't want anything getting in my face. All right, y'all. So I'm going to wash my hands first and then get started. All right, y'all. So one of the things that I've been doing more so probably within the past like three months or so is just getting in the habit of saying daily affirmations, whether it's me actually doing it during my meditation or even if I literally just sit up in the first thing in the rising and like say, you know, whatever my daily affirmations are. So things that I normally say would be like, this is going to be a good day. You are going to be productive today. You will not stress today. Um, you are beautiful. You are strong. You are confident. Like I say things like that daily at this point. And it has made such a dramatic change in just my mentality. The way that I think. Um, the way that I speak. I'm not speaking that negative energy into the world, into the universe. So it makes a huge difference. And it just changes like your attitude um, about the day, no matter what comes your way, no matter how stressful it is, when you start your day, you know, affirming certain things, then no matter what comes your way, you are, you're like standing in that. Like, I know this is, you know, an unfortunate situation, but this does not determine how the rest of my day is going to go. It does not determine how the rest of my week the rest of my month, the rest of my life, you know, so this is just a moment. It's momentary. Um, it's not necessarily your end all be all. So, um, what I've learned, what I've learned is that you can do your daily affirmations and they can be different every day. I know that some people have like set affirmations that they say every single day. Um, maybe it's, you know, just a few, but they say the exact same thing. Honestly, I typically change mine. I change my affirmations depending on whatever it is that I'm dealing with. So if it seems like I've had a lot of anxiety or I've been kind of stressed out lately, then that will reflect in my daily affirmations. So I'll say things like, you will not be anxious today. Your day will go smooth. You will not be stressed no matter what happens there is a solution. You can solve this. You will solve this. Um, and just kind of boosting myself up with this confidence that like I'm strong and I can handle whatever comes my way. So um, what I've been doing as far as my affirmations go, because I normally do yoga Monday through Friday at 6 a.m., 
Um, they actually opened the hot yoga room at 530 so that you can get in and just kind of like center yourself. And I already like do my meditations every single day. But what I like to do on the days that I go to hot yoga is go there, find my spot, meditate, do my affirmations before I even start my yoga class. And even doing that, like there's been a couple days where I didn't get there in enough time, like early enough for me to do all of that. And those days were much more like complicated for me to finish um, the class. Like I struggled with different things in the class. I struggled to focus. But on the days that I go early and I have the time to do my meditation, I have the time to say my daily affirmations, those classes, I'm always more centered. It's just, it's so amazing, like, that feeling, because once I'm more centered, I'm more focused. When I'm more focused, I'm, like, doing so much better in the class. So it just makes a huge difference. And then I leave the class, and I don't leave the class tired. I leave, like, energized, and I leave, like, with this positive attitude that, like, I'm about to go conquer something today. So yeah, I think it's just really important, even if you're not used to doing daily affirmations, for you to get in the habit of just speaking positivity over your life, speaking positivity in the universe. Because honestly, whatever we put out there is what's going to come back to us. So if we're speaking negatively all the time, if we are saying negative things, not just about other people, but about ourselves, then that's all we're going to see. That's all that we're going to feel. So we really are in more control of our reality than we probably give ourselves credit for. Sorry, y'all. I think I got that. <laughs> so it's important that we um, just make sure that what we're putting out into the universe is the same stuff that we want in return. You can't speak negatively and then expect a positive outcome, a positive life. So um, it's just important. I don't know if everybody's into that, but just make sure that you're like speaking light into your life and the lives of others and just making sure that we take responsibility for, you know, our attitude, ultimately. Everything has a silver lining, whether we want to see it or not. So it's really important to try and set that standard for, okay, these things may happen today, but I will get through it. I can conquer this. I am strong. I am beautiful inside out. I am multi-talented. I am... Um, not anxious. I am not stressed. All those good things. Um, so yeah, do what you got to do for you. Say what you got to say. If you're struggling with depression, I am not depressed. If you're struggling with body image or something, I am beautiful. No one can tell me otherwise, you know, and just kind of stick to that. Don't just do it just for the sake of saying you do it, but do it and actually let those words like resonate resonate with you uh, make sure that you believe them and you're not just saying them but you have to actually feel it and believe it in order for it to make a difference and make a change in your world if you do your daily affirmations comment down below what some of the things are that you might say and yeah let us know in the comment section what are some of your daily affirmations what time of day do you typically do it? Because I know some people say their affirmations at night so that they can sleep on it and then let it kind of fall into their next day. Some people say it in the very beginning of their day. Some people say it only when things come up and um, they have to, you know, remind themselves of certain things. And y'all, I put way too much cream on my face just now. So it's going to take a second to rub in. Um, but... Let me know in the comment section what time of day is best for you because everybody's going to be different. But what time of day do you typically prefer to say your daily affirmations? Um, That's really all I got for y'all today. I wasn't even going to film while I did my skincare routine, but I figured why not? You know, so I'm going to get out of here and try and rub in the rest of this vitamin E cream. Um, Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm sending peace and positivity to all of you all. Spread love throughout your day today. And remember, self-love is the best love. Peace.